Golden Bossy had a streak of terrible luck last year when she first got loose in the post parade of her debut at Ellis Park, crossing state lines from Kentucky to Indiana, and then was involved in a barn fire the very next day. The filly very well would have never made it to the starting gate had it not been for the care of her trainer, Michael Ann Ewing. Now, the filly is not only back to optimal health, but she just recently made her debut. We bought her, she was one of three yearlings that I personally bought, uh, hoping that they would be, you know, early as two-year-olds. She was always a little quirky, but she trained forwardly, and that first two-year-old race at Ellis Park, something in the post parade spooked her, and she froze up, you know, with the pony. Miguel Mena was riding her, and he fell off, and then she was loose and Outriders couldn't catch her. And I was here in Kentucky watching on television and my assistant Kelsey Wallace called me and said, she's gone. I said, what do you, what do you mean she's gone? She's disappeared. And um, about 35 minutes later, she kind of ran out of steam and it was um, a policeman and, and, and Jack Hancock that, that caught her. Thought, the best thing would be to leave her overnight and let her relax. And in retrospect, mm -hmm. I should have brought her home. But who would know she'd be in a fire? Luckily, she was rescued by, in fact, one of our groom's brothers. But she, I think there were five horses in the receiving barn. She was the last one out and she had been burned. I can't believe it's such a bad luck horse or Maybe good luck that she survived. And when I look at her now, which is almost a year to when this happened, she's really healthy, she's matured, and um, it's really unbelievable. But at the time I was so worried. She was in the barn from July until November, just hand walking. So it was a real team group effort. When she, the burns had all healed up, her feet were good, she'd had time. We brought her in and uh, put a saddle on her and we put a couple of pads on, you know, like a, a wither protecting pad. And she just went back into training and trained very well, very forwardly. She never had a day that she didn't want to go to the track. And then we got to start working her and she worked really well. So I said, you know, this Billy can run to have her in the barn so healthy and to run about three days ago and stay on the property that was a big win and not run down highway 75 and so the bar was low but she ran a nice third i just think there's a big um i don't know it's sort of like being a parent and you have a child that has a great difficulty or a sickness or an injury and you nurse them and you nurse them and you don't know what the outcome is going to be. And then it's a really positive, it's just a big, big sense of, I guess, pride. There was a lot of commitment there, a lot of time, a lot of energy, happy to see her healthy and happy. And if she had said, no, I'm uncomfortable or we would have found her another career. But right now, you know, she might run, run and she might win, might be a next time winner. You never know. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment and subscribe to our channel for more content from the TDN.